seven striped jetty snappers and haven't caught a single one until that one just hit my fiddler crab. I want to go fishing cause it takes my stress away. I want to go fishing try and cast my blues away. I want to go fishing I don't want to watch the clock. I want to go fishing Let's get Tony, you've got dinner tonight. What's that? Okay. okay. You've got dinner tonight. What do we have? 12 last time? So now all we need is 11 more. Right. <laughs> I think it can be eight, eight per person is the current. Uh, yeah, eight. I don't, I don't ever worry about limiting at all. Right. When was the last time you actually got checked? Oh, yeah. <laughs> They come up and, <laughs> what you doing, uh, catching anything? Uh, let me see your fishing licenses. Yeah. That's a real nice one. All right. Very dark, isn't he? Yes, very dark. He's living in a dark world down there. Targeted species, finally in the boat. Look at that hook set. Right in the lip. By the hair of his lippity lip lip. Well, that's how many fiddlers I got left. Went sheephead fishing. And as you saw, I was the only one who caught sheep's head. And we just burned a whole lot of fiddlers. Ah. <sighs> Nobody can feel the bite, and yesterday the bite was so off where I hardly even had any bites. So we should have went float rig fishing. A buddy of mine was just tearing up the trout, but they had their had their mind set on sheep's head because they don't really like trout they like sheep's head but you know what the funny thing is when you're float rig fishing you can catch sheep's head especially this time of year so forget this stuff I'll end up giving these to somebody. Forget that. I can't stand this. Trying to take people to feel the sheephead bite. We caught them last year at this time with the same two guys. But the fish were literally suicidal last year. They were suicidal. We went to the same areas this year, the other day, yesterday. And then even the... Uh, the day ended with like 40 mile an hour winds and torrential rains, so, and the temperature dropped like 20 degrees. Right on the last spot, we got our butts handed to us and then doused with rain. So, now it's time to clean the donuts because I wasn't about to do it in the pouring rain yesterday. keep your cooler clean. Use the liner, an old soft cooler. All right. There's my 
bigger, bigger one that I caught. I'm putting on gloves, I don't feel like getting all nastified. Blaze all blade. Let's see. See if I can, if I can keep this clean. Lost a little here. Alright. I forgot my bucket. I gotta get a bucket now. If you're looking for some serious catch and cook, 
advice, you're in the wrong place. This is how I do it. Zataran, some house off trees, and I take it and I throw it in a bag. There you go. I zip the bag closed. I fold it over a little bit. And this is all I ever do. I've got numerous videos of doing this exact same thing. And people still say, why don't you do a catch and cook? Well, why don't y'all pay attention to the ones that I've already done? This doesn't get any more simple right here, folks. That's how Dave does it. I ain't no big time cook. I'm a fish fryer. So there you go. Boom. Fillets are, are coated. Now, if you really want to do it right, you throw this in the bottom of the refrigerator and leave it there for about two, three days, and man, does it get good. That's my secret. Melted stick of butter. I don't even have any oil. Take my fillets. Put them down in the butter. Start off with the really big ones. There we go. I'll be back when I'm finishing up. We're getting there. Yes, sir. All righty, there we go. Fried sheephead sandwich. <laughs> Cheddar cheese, some mayonnaise, on a nice soft roll. Make a bulldog break its chain. Come on.